Um, welcome to a, another video. I have um, been given this machine by a customer. It's a, um, let's see what the model number is. It's a HP 15. And uh, it's running extremely slow. And uh, what we're going to do is, uh, he said it's got eight gigs of memory. Memory is fine. Uh, I think we uh, what we're going to do is uh, put an SSD drive in it. That would make it five times quicker. Um, I think the old hard drive is probably a bit knackered anyway. So uh, we're going to go ahead and um, put a new hard drive in. I'll show you how to do that. It's pretty straightforward. I mean, the machine's immaculate. It's a, it's a lovely bit of kit, actually. It's hardly been used. Uh, so, but which is surprising because I'll have knackered, or oh, probably knackered. So yeah, we're just going to um, take all the screws out and I'll show you the process of putting a new hard drive in. So there is one lug missing, just there, a little, um, so it kind of keeps the machine a little bit higher off the table. So I'll pull, take that one off um, and, uh, and just start taking all the screws out. Right, so uh, yeah, um, couldn't get the front off because uh, there's a little little tab here. I didn't see that, it was camouflaged. So pull that out, screw underneath there as well. Luckily my screwdriver's got a bit of a bit magnetized, so it's easier to get the screws out. Otherwise I'm using my magnet tool to get them out. So slowly pop this off. Be careful you don't pull it too hard because you could rip off any ribbons that are as you can see the keyboard comes off so that means there's a ribbon here attaching it attaching to the motherboard so um, slowly pull this here and you'll see this is a, for the power button so uh, lift that off the open the door and that's popped off quite easily uh, now what you're gonna have to do is I'll show you if I can there will be more flexes there so yes get those off there's uh, the keyboard flex which is that one there um, that will come out easily and then you've got the mouse pad flex which is just there that should come out easily as well there you go and you've got the keyboard off all right so the the memory on this machine is underneath the board we don't need to like this that we just need to get the hard drive out so uh, let's Get rid of the uh, this flex here, the USB flex. Um, that's quite annoying. That little flex will put, put, put scissors on there. Uh, let's see if we can get this out. A bit. It's a bit of a nightmare to get out. That's pretty straightforward. There you go. Um, take off the SATA connector. There you go. And you got the retaining clamps just there. Uh, what I've done to, for the customer, I said, look, I'll just put in a 500 GB crucial SSD, uh, as you can see here. So I'm just gonna take off the seal. And uh, there you go. This is pretty decent. I think these are quite good drives, value for money wise, they're okay. I've fitted quite a few of these and um, yeah, I've had no issues whatsoever. This is a um, a 500 gig. You do get one, which is a 480, which is 10 pound less. So uh, yeah, just make sure which way this round this goes. So put the retaining clip clamps back on. There we go. Just push that there, and this will go there as well. Uh, maybe you can hear that, but it's absolutely chucky on that side. I don't know everyone's going to complain that it's too wet. Well, first, it's too hot, then it's too wet, and then it'll be too cold when the, when the winter comes. Roll on summer, they'll say. Okay, so that goes in this way. There you are, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you fit a hard drive in a... Uh, HP 15. Um, so now I'm going to put back the uh, the 
keyboard flex. And also the uh, mouse pad flex. That goes back in there. I, you can't see it from there, but I can. I can't do it while the machine's up in the air. Um, and also, let's just get hold of the power button flex. That's it. Pretty straightforward. And then the boring bit I'll do tomorrow morning, which is install Windows 10. So you can hear all the little clicks since it's clicked in place. There you go. Job done. And I turn it around. And let's do the rest. So I'm going to put all this bit on top of the machine this time. And I won't lose them. And I'm going to go around and put some of the screws in the holes. And then it's much easier for me to do that. And I can um, go around with my, my electric driver. And it won't take me more than a few minutes. Yeah, so I, uh, as you can see, I've got loads of screws here. Uh, over the years, um, you know, people give you machines, oh, they don't want this, they don't want that. So we just keep taking the screws out, just in case you need uh, them on occasions like this. So there's a, don't forget to put the lug back in. We don't want that. There you go. Oh, the machine fires up. I'm sure it will. I forgot any power. You have got power. There you go. The machine has come on. Obviously, it needs to uh, uh, have an operating system installed. So, yeah. And that will be done. And that will be cleaned up as usual. Thank you for watching.